What's up, my people? Slim Cutter. I'm back with this uh, little light review, light pickup. Make this a light review, you know. You know, I ain't got no type. I don't. True religion is the only thing that I like. Polo comes twice. That means second. Anyway, uh, first off, man, I want to give a shout out to all my homeboys on Instagram, my subscribers. <laughs> y'all know who y'all are. I ain't got to shout out no names. Um, <clears throat> in this vid, I got some. Um, I got a few polo pieces. I got a few Truy pieces. Eh, um, some stuff I picked up from. Uh, we went to the retail store this weekend, and some stuff come from eBay. Some stuff come from dealers, and we gonna get into that. But I want to give a shout out to Shata. I don't know who this guy is. He just came out of nowhere, just threw a video up. And um, all you got to do is type in True Religion Collection. And his name is going to be Shata something. It's a little Jamaican cat. Dude has like 80 pair trues. All super T. Not only does he have this many, he has like ancient shit I didn't even know existed. Like, out of all the truths, the, the ones that really stood out to me were um, the, the Ricky Super Cuties. Man, they was dope. Like, I tried to find them on eBay. I typed in Ricky Super QT. It was like, yeah, nigga, search again. Those are ancient. Like, so, but shout out to him, man. Go check out his video. Now, let's get into this review. I got these. These are polos. Lounge pants. I got these off of eBay. Brand new with tags. 25 bucks. Let me stretch them out for y'all. Got the pla the classic all over print on them. These are pretty nice. Get y'all some. I got the blue ones on the way. They're like a navy blue with the baby blue polo sign. And I got the uh, all white ones with like the royal blue polo man on them. I got those coming, so for those two, I pay like $50 all together. These are really like a $60 pair of uh, pajama pants, but on eBay, you can get them for like $25, $20, bucks. so that's how much I paid. That was a good pickup. Um, right here, I want to talk to you about these. These are the polo sweats that go with the polo, um, the hoodies. If you got a Dillard's in your area, stop watching my video right now and go to Dillard's and get you some. Because they're on sale for not only like, we all know the prices. Let me see if I can cover up my flash. Can I cover up my flash? Yeah, so y'all can see this. Now, these are originally $100 pants. They were marked down to $49. And in Dillard's right now, they got an extra sale going on. So... They went from 100 to 50 and I paid 25 bucks for these. I paid 25 bucks for these. And those two were great pickups. I just got these uh, yesterday. Uh, they didn't have the hoodie, so I'm going to hop on eBay and grab the hoodie. I been had the black and red ones for a, a, a while now, maybe like a week or two. And I have the hoodie. Showed you the hoodies in the, one of those other videos. But yeah, these the polo sweats is great quality Ralph Lauren. We all know it's great quality clothing. But to me, it comes to, I like True Religion first. So I'm always going to rock with the Truey before the polo. I grew up wearing polo a lot. I wore polo a lot in high school. So, but I'm getting back on it. But uh, yeah, go if you got a Dillard's in your area, man, go see what they got. Go check them out. Pick up everything that you can because... Um, what they're doing is just gonna bring in new inventory. You know, the sweatsuits and the sweaters always come around around fall, and like right now, this is basically the the last of the last shit. You know what I mean? So that's why it's like twenty five dollars. So that's a good pickup. Uh, this shirt right here came from eBay, brand new with tags. Uh, I, this shirt was on eBay for eons and I just got tired of seeing it. I was like man I got like some of the other long sleeve t-shirts like this and I was just like fuck it I'm gonna go ahead and get it. They marked it down from like $40. It was like $22 So I just said I didn't even ask for a deal. I just bought it. It's a long sleeve tee. It has true religion 1971 There's a little motorcycle guy Los Angeles, California on it and it's it's a nice shirt uh, This is the, the little tag you know just the regular the regular tag now i'm gonna jump from this shirt straight to this one beware of this tag which means this is the new line in the retail store 
I got this from the retail store. Me and my wife went and she picked up some stuff. Uh, I wear a 2X and Truy, so I just picked the shirt up. I didn't even try it on. This shirt fits like a large, like, and it seems like they're making the, with this new line. Like, I lost the tag. I wanted to show y'all what the tag looked like. It's a rectangle. It's a long rectangle uh, tag. It's like it's like this tag, but it's like like that much in half. It's like a long rectangle. Man, it pissed me off because I got it and I was like, damn, it, it's kind of small. I'm still going to rock it, but it's still kind of like small. And even when I was in the store, I was trying on some of the newer Jimmy jackets and they're cut like higher. So I don't know what's going on with the new stuff they're making. But yeah, that if it has that right there, beware. Try to go up like a, maybe a tag, a size bigger. And like Truy only goes up to 3X anyway. So like if I got this shirt in a 3X, it would fit like. A large or extra large, yeah. Like if this shirt was a 3X, it would fit like an extra large. Put it like that. It's a 2X and this motherfucker fit like a large. So I don't know if they running that shit small or what they're doing, man. But I had took it back and um, I was like trying on the other one. They didn't have any 3Xs and they all were like that. So I just kept it because I liked it that I liked it that print right there. I was gonna wear it under my new jean shirt that my homie off instagram flinty boy he inspired me to get shout out to flinty boy he sent me a uh he sent me a picture of my dm he was like yeah check out my new true religion shirt bitch yeah pinch my nipples it's like <laughs> i don't know if you talk like that or not but you look like you talk like that to everybody that you meet but anyway flinty boy had this shirt or one similar to this it was on ebay brand new with tags um just a regular TRBG shirt, BJ with the um the slim or skinny Buddha smiles or horseshoes, whatever you like to call it or prefer to call it. It's kind of distressed. Got some little distressing on it. It's a nice shirt. It's dope. I was thinking about distressing it a little bit more, like maybe do some up here, here on the back. It has the nice fading lines to it. I was thinking about doing some distressing like up here. On the back of it, maybe, but check out the back of it. Has a nice little fade at the bottom. It's a dope shirt. I got it off eBay, brand new with tags. The seller wanted 150. Uh, I said, No, motherfucker, you give me this shirt for 75. He shot me a message back and was like, Back, and he said, Just give me 85. So I did that. It's brand new with tags. It's dope. It's slim fitted. It's a nice shirt. It's not a Rocco, it doesn't have a name to it. It's just, um, it just says made in Mexico, TRBJ, Triple X. Usually, like my other shirt, jean shirt, it's a Rocco. I don't know what this is. But it's nice though. Shout out to Flinty Boy for that inspiration. If it wasn't for you, my nigga, I wouldn't have this shirt right now. You looked very good in it. I said, wow, he looks great. I have to have one. Uh, this shirt I got off of uh, eBay. It was pre owned, it's a retail shirt. Uh, let me stretch it out for y'all. Crazy. It's a retail shirt. I paid 15 bucks for it. It's like brand new. It's not stretched out anything. The collar's in sh good shape. And it's a nice shirt. The retail shirts are like much more softer than the outlet shirts. The material and the quality of them, they're real good. So, um, usually I don't buy pre-owned t-shirts, but if it's a nice retail shirt, yeah, and it's pre-owned. I might get it. You know what I mean? Like, I got this one because it's dope. Uh, the hats, these two hats right here, I bought for myself. True Religion hats run like extra baby small. So, I ended up giving them to my wife. I got these two hats in a deal for $30 a piece. They're authentic. And True Religion in there. True Religion right there. And Cursive. So I paid like $30 a piece, no, $30 for both hats, like $5 shipping. I just ended up giving them to my wife because I, I can't fit them. So I was like, all right. Uh, this is a hat that she's always had, a little girly one. It's kind of like the same thing on the inside. She paid like, I think she paid like 75 bucks for this one at the, um, at the store. She always had had that one. At the retail store, the same time I, when I bought this shirt, she bought these shorts. Um, these shorts, $148 shorts. They're like paper thin, but the material is like a, 
it has like the threading in it i don't know if y'all can be able to see that but it has like the threading in it and i don't know what kind of material this is but it's real real nice um but they had a sale going on they wanted 150 for them she paid like 75 bucks for these little shorts for the summertime and to her it's a nice pickup to me uh, no she got killed I got this shirt, this sweater for her. This is a female sweater. Has like the little shiny True Religion rhinestone things going on right here. Uh, it has True Religion on the sleeves. I got this sweater for her brand new with tags off eBay for like 50 bucks. I talked the seller down a little bit. Finesse, finesse, finesse. Uh, she's bent had this one. This is a pullover, no zip. So uh, just a basic pullover hoodie, True Religion. I got this one for her a while back ago. Um, it has some little stuff on the back, War Tour, and it's pretty nice for her. She's had this one for a while too. She has a lot of other things too. I might put them in the other videos, but this is just a regular um, Super T sweater, the thick stitching in it. It's nice, made in Mexico. It's nothing else on it. it just has the the deep stitch the thick stitching through it she likes it but yeah man this was my little pickup some of the stuff we already had some of the stuff we got from the retail stores beware of this new shit i'm not fucking with it really pissed me off shout out to flinty boy for inspiring me about this jean shirt hey. uh look what we got here these are Cartier frames, 18 karat solid gold, platinum in between. I have these on eBay for sale for a thousand bucks if you want them. They're dope. These are the ones that uh, you might see Rich Homie Quine wearing or, um, or any other rapper. Rick Ross, I've seen him wearing them. And, but yeah, I had these for a while and... I'm trying to get them off, man. I don't want them. And if y'all been on Instagram, I had like a Gucci bucket hat up for sale. That's so dude. Buddy sent me the money for that. And um, I had a Louis belt too. That's sold. I let that go for 100 bucks. Um, but yeah, these are Cartier's, man. They're nice. They're authentic wood grain, African babanga wood, 18 karat gold, solid gold, no plating, and platinum on in the middle. They're nice. Um, so yeah, shout out to all my homies on Instagram, man. It's Slim Cutter. Uh, go check out my man Shotter video, man. He has some nice jeans, and I want y'all to see those. He has some ancient vintage jeans that was real dope. Uh, Baylor Gang is back. Go check out his videos. Shout out to Baylor Gang too, cause I seen him without you, homie. I seen him throw up some um, khaki trues, and then I hopped on uh, eBay because I wanted some. I bought those. I got some khaki Rickies coming. I got them brand new with tags for like 70 bucks. So, uh, yeah, that's not even, that's not, that's not Baylor Gang no more. That's young Rafiki. Now I watched the video. He said, Rafiki is my favorite rapper. I said, who the fuck is that? I went on the video. He said, check out my SoundCloud. Like, bro, spitting. Like he, like you need some work, but he's spitting though. You know what I mean? Like he talking this shit. He walk cash money shit. I was dying at the name though. Like you gotta, uh, you gotta surround yourself with some real niggas, Baylor. Like you, it's obvious that you're surrounded by a bunch of yes men. Because if a nigga was like me, was next to you when you came up with that name, like obviously y'all was smoking some a big bag of Reggie, and you was like, hey guys, I got it. I'm gonna call myself. Young Rafiki, and they were like, Yeah, because that's what yes, man, do. Yeah, man, that's great. We're gonna go start up from the bottom to the hip. You know what I mean? But if I was sitting next to you and we were smoking a big bag of Reggie's high shit, you'd be like, Hey, cut up. I got it, bro. I'm gonna name myself Young Rafiki. And I'd be like, Dude, pass the goddamn Reggie's. You high as shit, man. Come up with another name. You feel me? But it's cool, though. You know, you want to run with Young Rafiki. Run with young Rafiki. But you killed me at the end of that verse though. My nigga said, I'm I'm in he know my nigga said I'm cashed out in Louis Vuitton. I do this shit like all the time. It's Fiki. I die, nigga. I said that nigga said it's Fiki, nigga. Shout out to Baylor Gay, man. I'm my young nigga. He stay shitting on niggas. So yeah, man. But go check out his new videos. He back and shit. Go check out Shot a video. My man's with like a hundred pair of super tees. 
And uh, I'm Slim Cutter, baby. Stay Fresh MVP. I'm going to throw a video up next week. I told my homie I was going to throw one up uh, showing in more detail how I do bidding and how I finesse the sellers because a couple people just still not catching on. So I'm going to do that for y'all. And um, that's what it is, man. Y'all be safe out here in these streets and get your money. Oh, yeah. I'm washing my sheets. <laughs> That's why I'm working off this motherfucker. My pillow top on my king size, motherfuckers. <laughs> but you go. I still got time, so she got some polo pads and some sweaters. Truly, truly shirt. You know the jean shirt. You know the t-shirt. You know this. I, this fucking shirt. This new shit. Couple hats, you know, the Cartiers for sale, thousand dollars. Shoot me a message. The Polo sleepers, eBay, thousand dollars. I know, I mean, twenty dollars off eBay. Don't get it fucked up. These are thousand. These are thousand. Twenty dollars off eBay for these. But yeah, my niggas, that's it, man. That's it for my video. I'm gonna throw another video maybe next week. I might do a question and answer video. Like, shoot me some questions. I'll answer them in my next video. We can uh, keep it interesting like that. I got some more shit to put in the videos. Some more polo shit. I'm just gonna wait to put that into my next videos. And uh, until then, man, get y'all money. Slim Cutter.